Hello, my name is Ken. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be talking about how to do export and import in Facebook. Uh, what, what it means that you are able to export the campaign that you are currently, currently running and then after that you can import them back into the same ads, uh, ads manager in, uh, so they can use the same ads again. Well, why is it important? It's important so that you can you know, like save kind of your campaign just in case you make any changes and you forget about them. So you can save the campaign and then after that you can re-upload it um, back to the original settings just in case you do any changes and things like that. And also you can do it across different ad, ad manager as well. So yeah, this is a bit different but uh, this is quite cool thing to know to do. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so we are now in the ads manager. So we're going to have this test campaign that we're going to export it out. It's the same method whether you export any kind of objective campaign. All you have to do is just, just click on it or click on everything. Then you just click on this, see this? It's written there, export and import. Just click on it and then you just export selected. Click on it and then you'll prepare to export. And then it's saved here. Okay. In CSV file. So you just open it. You see this campaign have one I test one test ad set and another test uh, two two of the ads. So you see as you can see there's two ads here. Okay, and each one has their own campaign ID and things like that. So you just save it somewhere else. Save it here. Okay, its default is saved in CSV file. So for Facebook, they are able to get CSV and also can text can can convert it into Excel file. But I'll just save it as Excel file, um, which is later I'll explain why it is easier and better to save in Excel file. However, even even import through CSV is also also possible. And that's it. That's all you need to do to really export the campaign out. And you want to import it, you just have to go to this and then you say import ads. Choose file, go to test, and then you just have to go to and click any of these. They can take text document, they can take uh let's export import. There. Import successful. And then successfully in full one campaign, you have to review the draft before publishing. So just refresh and see. The thing is, it, it is already here. That is why you don't see it adding in. And there's error as well, as you can see. So just check it out. Yeah, so because it's the same campaign here, so the ID is all similar and things like that. However, we want to have it different. So what we do is, we go to... Ads manager. Okay, this is the, the this is use, using another ads manager. Okay, and and usually people import it out so that it can come change it into different ads manager. Uh, however, yeah, so so I this this ads manager I have it for a long time and I did not run any ads for it. That's why it's inactive. So just do not mind that. You just have to click export import. Ads, choose a file, choose Excel one or SCSV is the same thing. There. You will notice there's this error. Okay. So what does this error mean? This error as as you come as you see this one, right? The only reason the reason why we are unable to properly pop it over is because each campaign, each asset, each ads have their own ID. So in order to properly change all of it, I mean to, to put it into a new uh, new new ad account you need to change all this id so you just view error in excel oops sorry it's hang okay just to make it simpler ok 
Okay, then you just need to go to downloads, test. Yep, apology for the the issue. Just cancel it out so they don't have to waste time. Okay. So as you can see, it's already here, right? That's the reason why I want to put it CSV to text to, to Excel file because you need to edit it later. If you use CSV to edit, it's a bit tough, so you just use Excel. Okay. As you can see, it's Sorry, let me just do some editing. It's a bit too big, which I do not like. A bit too big for my liking. So, let me just edit this. Hopefully you don't mind, this is just some some small pet peeves. Okay, so you can see here, this is campaign ID, all you have to do is delete them. Delete campaign ID, look for any more ID, link object, okay, no problem. Just fine for ID. Add set ID, delete, and then next. Mm, campaign ID, add ID. There, see these two? Just delete them. And then you save. Crap, sorry. Just save. Now, yeah, this is pretty slow now because I've been doing lots of stuff. Edit. Save. Okay, once you save, then all you have to do is just to export again. Close. Export, import, adds. Choose file. Export the edit one. Import. Tada! And what do you see here? A new campaign is being added into your ad manager. Test campaign, check it out first. Test ad set, and the two default traffic. It's done. It is as simple as that. Yep, that's all. It is just as simple as that in order to export and import your campaign in Facebook Ads dashboard. And I hope that you like what I shared today. And if you like what I share, do like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me support so that I can keep producing content like this. Thank you and see you in this video. Bye bye.